Hi, it's Lee Carroll again in Egypt. Today we want to take you to the Valley of the Queens. How many of you knew there was a Valley of the Queens? Yep, it's on the other side of the Valley of the Kings, that popular one. But this time we're going to see a very, very, very special queen. And this one just recently opened to the public only a couple of years ago and restored. It is the tomb of Nefertari. It's very special for other reasons too. You go in there and you're going to find out why it's the only one that we found in full color that's been fully restored. And for the first time, we can take our cameras. Couldn't do it the last time we were there. Take a look at this. This is how it's supposed to look, folks. This is how the tombs were made, full color. And this one restored by the Getty Institute. It took years, and this is the result. And I'm so happy we we're able to show you Queen Nefertari. Let's talk more about that. Hello everyone, I am Monica Morani and Lee Carroll is operating the video camera. We are still on tour in Egypt and we are in the Valley of the Queens. We have just visited the tomb of Nefertari. Nefer, I have discovered, means beauty. And the tomb of Nefertari truly is the most exquisite representation of beauty of all the tombs that I've had the pleasure of experiencing thus far. And Omar was sharing with us the story of Nefertari and in particular, the story of the love story of yes. her with King Ramses II. So Omar, would you mind sharing yes. with us this story? I love it, I love it. Uh, first of all, you are in the middle of the uh, Valley of the Queen. Inside the Valley of the Queen, we have more than 99 tombs in the Valley of the Queen, but there is only one, one, the sign of the love. The sign of the love, it means the sign of all purely love. Between Ramses II, the man he's a powering, the man he had, look at what he done, he occupied a lot of countries, he had a long life, then he will be very weak when he loved his wife. Which is wife? His wife, Nefertari, the most beautiful one comes. And the Nefertari, this is the Nubian, he has a smart and the beautiful faces and everything. And then he's the only king. He builds beautiful tomb for his favorite wife where in the middle among all the queens here. Okay. It's not only this. This is the only tomb for the only king. You cannot find it something look like this, maybe in the history. It's vivid color, uh, very uh, beauty, and it's not only this too. There is a lot of things we have to notice. When this king, Nefertari died, he didn't touch a woman for another nine years. You know what's mean this for the man? He was so sad. He was very disappointed because she, his spirit, his soul, pushed him. I tell you something else. You know this lady. She born one. His name is Ha Imwasi. You know who is Ha Imwasi? He's living there. He's the first architectures in the history. This man, when he heard his father, Ramses II, he said, all most of the tomb as grandson and the son is coming in the very poor condition. This son, he rising up and he fixed it and it restored for every tomb in Egypt. He's the first shaman connected with the world and come back in Abydos especially. Okay, there's something else. This tomb, when they discover 1903, and they then find it in a bad condition, then the Egyptian government during that time, they spent 200 million dollars to fix it, mm. to get it back to another. Why? For one reason, to see how love, how it look like when someone he won't add his name and his wife mm. forever and until the end of the earth, until the end of the life, mm. but we cannot reach this life anymore. We're waiting for you. We love you all share our love and we want you to come back to see this and then you get the same feelings no maybe you get another feelings we share with you i'm sure thank you everyone as you heard we love you all thanks for watching well that's it for the valley of the queens and now we're going to go to an alabaster factory people liked this um, for many, many reasons. 
but I think the biggest reason is shopping. Here is a man telling us all about the real alabaster, not alabaster plaster, which many of the vendors are selling. So this is the end of part one for this day. Thank you.